Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm going to do a little something different today. Uh, it's going to be a different video. I'm going to let my inner geek out and uh, show you guys something. I've got, as most of you know, video files are huge. And I like to keep all of my files, including all of my raw footage. Um, and I made a mistake last year. I was I was out of room on my I have a one terabyte drive in the laptop and it was really lagging in processing videos and I had a bunch of stuff on there. So you know I've done the, the whole route. I've got a, a five hundred gigabyte external hard drive and I've got a one terabyte external hard drive. I love these things. But uh I still <laughs> Between all of the music I have, I mean, we had probably 350 CDs that I converted to uh, MP3s. And home movies that were transferred from VHS. And the Super 8 tapes that I'm working on. Um, I, I had tons of raw footage shot for the... Uh, the video I was doing on the suspension bridge, the Wheeling suspension bridge, the Wheeling prison down there, or the prison down there in Moundsville. Just stuff I'd been working on. I'd planned on using that footage during the winter to put videos together. And I wound up thinking I had all of that backed up, and I didn't. I deleted a bunch of stuff off of here to speed it up. And all that raw footage went with it. So I have to go down and reshoot everything now just to get back on it. And I mean, that's okay. But I got to thinking, okay, I need another external hard drive. So I got to looking at other hard drives. Another external hard drive because I'm, you know, continually building up files. And I got to thinking, like a lot of people, I'm sure, I've been around PC since... Uh, 1989 I got my first one and with you know rebuilding them and fixing them and all this kind of crap you know I have a collection of parts <laughs> and one of the things I have are hard drives that the PC may crash or motherboard go bad you know I don't fix them anymore but I know there's stuff on these hard drives number one I kept them because I want to get things off of them and uh, it just got me to thinking, this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive that was in the last PC that crashed. And I have a 500 gigabyte laptop drive, uh, a laptop that went bad. But I kept the drive, I had bought a new drive for it. So, it's like, there's a terabyte of storage that is just sitting in a drawer, basically. Um, and I know you can buy cases for these um, and turn them into uh, external drives. But what I wound up buying instead was this little thing. A hard drive docking station. I hope that's showing up in the camera. Um, that will take the three and a half inch drives, the two and a half inch drives, any SATA hard drive. And I can plug it into this, plug it into my laptop, transfer any of the data I want to and from it. Um, I have other hard drives, you know, that I want to look at um, and see if there's any data I want to recover. Now, this particular one, the Sabrent, uh, docking station is only for SATA hard drives uh, no IDE devices but I have a friend at work that has a cables that you can hook up the IDE um, hard drives to go to your USB port this is USB 3.0 which is super fast for transferring any data off of these drives that I want 
or from the, the laptop to the, the drives. So I'm going to check this thing out. I just got it today. I'm going to plug it in and see what it does and let you all watch me. But this is a great way to recycle your old hard drives that are still good uh, and get use out of them without having to buy another PC or having to buy another external drive. And if this works, I wind up with another terabyte of storage space. And you can buy these little uh, uh, cases, plastic cases. If you remember the little plastic cases that floppy disk would be in, you can buy them that these fit in, label what's on it, and store it. Uh, anti-static cases. So, let's see what's in here. Uh, first off is the docking station, they call it. So, get this out. Ah, there we go. And there's, I don't know if you can see that or not, the docking, the SATA connectors in there. I'll be darned. USB power supply. So, let's go further in the box. You got directions, you got extended warranty, you got the power supply. This is pretty cool. I like this so far. So, let's hook up the power supply. And yes, the instructions are here in case it doesn't work. Then I'll look at the instructions. But we don't have to look at the instructions to try it out. At least I can't even unwind the power cable without the instructions. <laughs> Power button. Let's plug in our power. That's off now. Of course, our 3.0 USB cable. More wires for everything. This has the square end. In. Let me plug this into my laptop. Okay. So, I should be able to slide the hard drive in now. And like so, push it forward. Now I have an external hard drive. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is switch over to the laptop screen. And I'll keep this running in the corners to see what I do on here. But now we're going to flop over and I'm going to record from the laptop. Alright, we're now on my, my laptop. So, let me turn the power on. And we'll see what happens. I can hear it spinning up. It's supposed to be plug and play. Alright. Oh, looky there. So. 
Hmm. This is what, this came out of a gateway. And let's see, March of 2015. This was Gales. Obviously. You do not have permission to access this folder. Seriously. Hmm. Oh, this is when I had PowerDirector 12. Oh, I don't have anything on it though. <laughs> so I used this also. Um, but yeah, it's uh, interesting to see what's on it. I can now format this drive and move files over to it. Um, I would think. there's nothing else I'm going to need off of here. This had Windows 7 on it, I believe. But there's nothing on here that I need. So, let's see if it formats. Format. 448 gigabyte. Yes, I know it's going to erase all the data. That's my plan. I have no idea how long it's going to take, but I'm not going to make you... Oh! <laughs> That's how long it took. That can't be. Of course, I did do a quick format. Let's go look at it again. Let's go see what we have here. Yep, we have an empty drive. Get out of there. Um, so now if I wanted to take... Let's see. If I go into videos... My transfer utility... And say drag these two folders... Over to the gateway drive. And it's copying them. Those are raw files from this weekend. Pretty neat. And I, I guess if a friend of mine crashed or you know, if I needed to say I want to image this drive, well, this is a terabyte, so I'd have to buy a terabyte drive to put in here. But I could image my drive and have a complete backup of my system and just simply swap it out if something crashed on this laptop. That's it. I'll be darned. Uh, yeah. There they are. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to make this into a uh, tutorial. I just thought I'd show you how easy this is to do. And uh, be able to have your own, basically, external hard drives. If you, like me, have you know, hard drives laying around that you don't use anymore, but you, you know, they're not, you don't want to throw them away uh, just because the PC crashed. Let me eject this so that I can turn it off. All right.
now I should be able to pull this drive out. Ah, there we go. And let's see if I still got that laptop drive in here. Like I said, I don't like to throw things away. Especially something that may come in handy later. Alright. Now this, I think, will slide right in there as well. That was my phone, that wasn't this. Okay, let's see if it spins up. Wow! Nice! <laughs> That's how you make an external hard drive out of the extra drives you have. Recycle them. <laughs> and I could do a lot with this. I like this little machine. Uh, I got it off of Amazon for like $22 or something like that. This is going to come in real handy when you're helping out people with their PCs. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, this is not a paid product endorsement. and I don't, uh, I bought this. I didn't get it for free to do a review on. But I do like it and I do think that it's a, a, a good, you know, investment because I can make as many external drives now as I want. Uh, instead of having to buy them. So, this is Joe. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you like it. Share it. Comment on it. Do all those kind of good things. And more power to the geeks. Thank you all.